three separate yet related experiences that we all have in our bodies, and they literally call them thought, feeling, and emotion. And here's the difference. The thinking, they identify with the three upper energy centers of the body. The Sanskrit traditions have a seven energy center or seven chakra system that they work with. And they say the upper three are related to what we call thought or logic processes. So when we think about something, we picture it in our mind, that perfect relationship or peace between nations. But we can only invite it into our lives when we breathe the power of emotion into that thought. The emotion comes from the lower three of those creative centers in our bodies. So when we breathe the power of emotion into our thought, we imbue that thought with life. And those two energies meet in the one center that is not accounted for yet in our model. It's in our heart or what scientists call the seven-layer liquid crystal oscillator in the center of our chest, but we'll just call it our heart. Because that's, that's what it does. Our heart is creating electrical and magnetic waves that are influencing the world around us based on what we think and the emotion that we breathe into those thoughts to create the feeling. So now we've just defined feeling. Feeling, by definition, from the Sanskrit tradition, is the union of thought and emotion. It creates the feeling. And what makes this really interesting is that those traditions say we are capable of only two primary emotions, love and whatever we feel the opposite of love is. And when you get really deep into the teachings, there are two aspects of the same thing. But what they say is when we have our thought, we are either breathing the love of that thought or our fear of that thought to create the feeling, and the feeling then becomes sadness or joy or compassion or anger. Those are not emotions, those are feelings.